here is currently Apple and QQQ, which one we looked at a little bit earlier. So you can also look back really long term to see how this relationship's worked out. So here's here's Apple. I mean, it's had a huge move, right? So here it was. This is a weekly long term. You see where that spread turned over. So that spread back here. This was a uh, November. 2021 right here at that point in time apple was 226 dollars below qqq now this is a one-to-one -one correlation but we could we could change that correlation if we wanted so we could it could have been like long one apple and short to qqq or something like that but this is one-to-one -one and had a huge move so it went from 226 under back in 2021 to 100 uh, 122 under so just a, a huge move let's just mark that and just kind of look at the math on that so let's say you got in right here where it started to break above the 21 period see my mo mo momentum indicators on the weekly so let's say you got in right here let's say 220 under and uh let's say you got out right here when it was starting to break down let's say you got out right here 150 just a what if, you know. So, you know, 220 and then went to 150. So that's a $70 per spread increase. So $70. And if you did 100 shares, that would be $7,000. So from here to here, that was an increase in the spread of plus $70 per share. And let's say you did, you know, a, an option contract, one share synthetic. So that's 100 shares. Per 100, that would be 7,000 with the neutralizing your systemic risk of the markets coming off.